Uh, hi, I'm Anupama Menon and I'm a nutritionist by profession. I run a clinic called Right Living in Koramangala, which is just off 80 feet road. A lot of you would have heard of the thyroid hormones and how it affects health and it is true. Thyroid hormones and the regulation of these hormones are very important for health as well as for fat loss for those who are looking for it. Uh, the thyroid gland produces the thyroid hormones which is T3 and T4. The TSH which is the thyroid stimulating hormone uh, is uh, the hormone to which uh, the response to which is your T3 and T4. Uh, generally, uh, a lab test again defines whether your TSH, your T3 and T4 are within level. If the TSH is lower, the T3 and T4 would be higher. If the TSH is higher, the T3 and T4 would be lower. This is a very simple explanation as to how you can understand the, le the readings of the lab. So the TSH, the T3 and the T4 are at a certain level but could be inversely proportional to each other in cases like your hypothyroidic condition or hypothyroidism. Hyperthyroidism is a condition in which your T3 and T4 is excessively produced but the TSH is produced in smaller amounts because the T3 and T4 are large produced anyway. When the, T when the T3 and T4 are lower, you can assume that the TSH will be higher. The TSH is, like I said, the thyroid stimulating hormone. Uh, so definitely, when the TSH is higher, it is a definite indication that the T3 and T4 or the thyroid, the main thyroid hormones are being underproduced or not being produced at all. So again, when we talk about regulation of the T3 and T4, uh, and as far as food is concerned, uh, remember that any of the goitrogenic substances that are present in foods are the ones uh, that would not help a hypothyroidic condition. I'm talking about hypothyroidism simply because that is what a lot of the mass is affected by. Uh, when you have hypothyroid and your T3 and T4 are lower but your TSH is higher, uh, remember that uh, it could lead to weight gain, it could lead to hair loss, there is a lot of fatigue involved and it is important that these hormones are then regulated. The doctor will definitely ask you to start taking a medicine but along with that there are certain foods that can help this condition through and through. One, you should make sure you're having a lot of protein in your diet, especially a lot of calcium or milk protein for vegetarians or of course animal protein for non-vegetarians. Another thing that you must, be, uh, you must make sure is that you avoid goitrogenic substances, uh, that is products which contain goitrogens which inhibit the absorption of iodine which will only deplete the T3 and T4 even further. These glycogenic substances are cruciferous vegetables like cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, to a certain extent the green leafy vegetables. Um, we could also define millets in this category, sprouts and soya products.